Hi guys, I'm in my Christmas onesie, which is probably what I'm gonna be wearing the rest of the year. And speaking of Christmas, you know what that means? Pilot season, woo! Along with pilot season means that there are gonna be a ton of headshots and resumes floating all over the place. And while we can all agree that we'd love to catch the attention of our favorite casting director, there's also a thing that we can all agree on that we don't want, and that's a stalker. So if you're an actor, you probably have something that looks a little bit like this. It's your headshot. Or actually, this is my postcard. So I have my picture on the back, and I have my name, and my phone number, and my email address on the other side. Don't see it. I've seen a handful of actors, and a lot of the time, they're actually younger actors who have their name, their phone number, their email, and then their home address. Don't do that, you guys. Chances are that a lot of the headshots that we send out end up in the trash. Even if you get the part, they could sit in a file for a long time, the casting director's cleaning out their desk five years from now. But the last thing you would ever want is to have your headshot tossed into the garbage, garbage goes into the dumpster, and say the dumpster spills or something, and then before you know it, you've got 15 of these suckers billowing down sunset. And then you just never know what creepy McCreeperson is going to be walking down the street and stumble across a beautiful picture of you. Pick it up. Who's this? What a beautiful person. Here's their name, their phone number, email, and their home address. Maybe I'll go give them a visit. No! No! It's not what we want. Don't do it. Stay safe. And the way you can stay safe is by getting a P.O. box. So a P.O. box, it stands for post office box. It's just a little mailbox you can rent at the actual post office that will get all your mail there so that you don't actually have to put your physical address as your address. So a lot of the times, if you say if you start a newsletter, I know that MailChimp actually requires you to give a physical address for them to put on each of your newsletters. So I didn't want that to be my actual home address, so I got a P.O. box. It costs like 60 bucks a year, which can feel a little pricey, but you can write it off on your taxes. So it's actually a really great solution to be able to put a physical address on your marketing material and still be completely safe because you know that no one's gonna have your home address. Stay safe this holiday season. Don't drink and drive. Stay safe this pilot season. Don't put your address on your marketing materials. I hope this helped. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!